It is one of the country's largest community-based nonprofits that provides survival kits to the homeless. The Giving Spirit has launched the 10,000 Lives Project. Joining us with more details on how they plan to help 10,000 homeless people in 60 days is the founder and chairman, Tom uh, Bagamane. Uh, Tom, welcome back. Good to see you again, sir. Good morning, Frank. Jessica, it's good, good to be with you. Uh, for folks who may not have heard of your your nonprofit, tell us more about the Giving Spirit and what you do. It's a pleasure. Uh, for 20 years, the Giving Spirit has been has provided two essential uh, services to the city and the community of Los Angeles. One is to provide survival assistance directly on the street to the thousands of homeless uh, that are living day to day, uh, and we do it in in uh, uh, in two public and many private events. We build survival kits full of basic necessities to allow people to survive where they stand. The other half of our mission, which is just as important, is to provide education and awareness around poverty and homeless, homelessness and what some of the long-term solutions can be. And Tom, you've, you've talked with us about this before. We have this big event where a large number of volunteers get together to assemble these kits, these survival kits that you hand out. But now that we can't get together in that way, how have you changed the way that you do business during the pandemic? That's an amazing question, Jessica. Thank you. So uh, our model is based simply on we, we gather thousands of people to help thousands of people and we go directly on the street on one-to-one -one interaction and aid. So every part of that model, COVID-19 made disrupted all of it. So uh, we as first responders had to understand that we needed to retool our model to be able to step up and take care of people in their most desperate need, which this virus has caused. If you think us as the unsheltered have issues, imagine if you're on the front mm -hmm. lines of this pandemic every day living mm -hmm. out in the streets. Absolutely. Uh, you've launched the 10,000 Lives Project. Mayor Garcetti uh, praised you for your work uh, in a news conference uh, last Friday. Tell us about the 10,000 Lives Project. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. It's been, it's been an honor to, to talk about this to you today. Um, eight weeks ago, it was just an idea. Um, and so, uh, you know, kudos to our team of volunteers and staff to pull this together. But, uh, and kudos to the mayor, you know, for recognizing us. He's been a a great volunteer and, and supporter of our, our, our work since he's been in office. And so uh, uh, it's great to have his support and, and, and validation. Um, so eight weeks ago, we as first responders and, you know, as just people who care and 20-year-old act activists, we realized that our model was not capable of handling what, what we saw every day. And so um, we had to retool our entire way of thinking. So um, we decided to pick the 10,000 lives number because, and you guys are on the front lines of this every day, all the numbers that are surrounding this pandemic are bad. They're large, they're bad, they're scary. Uh, and so we wanted to put a number out to the, to the community to embrace and know that by supporting us, uh, they can directly affect the lives of 10,000 people. Uh, and so I'd be putting an aggressive goal of 60 days so mm -hmm. we can do it and turn it around so these folks that you just addressed in your previous segment, 7,000 of these folks, mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're 60,000 of their peers that yeah. are out there moving as a fluid uh, uh, city. And so we needed to act now. So uh, thanks to Mike Bonin, who was the first call that we made. Mike, uh, uh, who's, a, again, a huge, a huge supporter of ours in the 11th District, gave us the Westchester Civic Center and gave us 24-7 access so we could build a city and county CDC compliance uh, safe zone mm. uh, that um, you know, that was fully sanitized and full of PPE and built an assembly process that all of you can be proud of uh, to keep everybody safe and to do more with less. Mm. So that was the key engineering part that we had to, you know, obviously limit the number of people touching the process, but right. actually exponentially helping more at the same time. It really is extraordinary. And then what, what's in these kits that are handed out? So um, we, it's a health and safety kit. So the health part is nutrition and, and hydration, which we know are essential, you know, and we give out, you know, traditionally throughout the year. But as you see on your screen now, those are the, that's the COVID-19 response piece of what, of what we're doing. And so um, hand sanitizer, for example, uh, the masks that we give out that you might not be able to see, but I've got here uh, in my hand. Uh, you, these are, we have 10,000 of these masks. These are cloth masks. Mm -hmm that, you know, that our homeless can then wash and reuse wherever they might be. Um, and uh, first aid kits, I mean, these are gold 
on the street. Mm -hmm. A cut can lead to an infection, can lead to hospitalization. Um, and we, we put into our kits for the first time these bath wipes, um, which full body cleansing at the point of contact. So it's about health and safety, but it's about those that have the bare, don't even have the bare essentials to keep themselves sanitized and safe on a daily basis. Health and safety and dignity. Tom, thanks for what you're doing. Once again, between now and early July, 10,000 health and safety kits will be assembled and delivered to a rapidly growing homeless population, particularly at risk to COVID-19. For more information on how you can donate, you can go to thegivingspirit.org or follow them on Instagram. Once again, thank you and all those volunteers for everything you guys are doing.